as you can see, my customer has a negative balance of $500. This means that the customer has overpaid for something. They have an invoice for $69 and the invoice has been paid. I can see in my Payments tab that I received a payment for $569 and only $69 of that payment was applied. This means that I now owe that customer $500 because they overpaid. To handle an overpayment, you will need to write this customer a refund check. Before you can do that, you will need to disable or check for two specific preferences. Click the Preferences button. First, go to Chart of Accounts and make sure that Smart Account Selection Filtering is disabled. If this preference is currently enabled, you will need to uncheck it and then you will be prompted for the administrative password to override. You will also need to check the Checking Preference within the Company Preferences tab and make sure the option for Do Not Include Any Customer Jobs and Checks Pay To list is unchecked. Because this is a company preference, the administrator user will need to disable this preference if it is currently enabled. Now you're ready to create your refund check. You can do this directly from the customer's history or you can go to Banking, Write Checks. Since I created the check from the customer's history, the customer information has auto-populated into the check for me. I'm going to print this check later, so I'm simply going to mark this check to be printed. Now I'm ready to write the refund check. You will need to select the Accounts Receivable account that you originally received the overpayment to. Enter in the amount that you need to refund back to the customer. Select the Customer Job within the Customer Vendor column to associate the customer with the Accounts Receivable account that you're refunding. The customer selected here should always match the customer selected in the Pay to the Order of. You can also put a memo as to why you're creating the refund check. Once you've completed the check, click Save and Close. Now you can see your customer's balance is zero. There's still one more step to complete this process. You'll need to create a new receive payment and then you'll need to apply your overpayment credit to the refund check. Simply click the gray box to the left of the refund check to highlight the line and then click the set credit button. Check the amount to use and then click Save and Close. You can memo the payment and then click Save and Close. For more information on issuing refunds for overpayments, click F1 to read the help topic on refund checks.